Greetings, sports fans. My name is Magnitude. And I'm Trevor. And welcome to Mag Nation Green. We have Paul Phoenix. And uh, Yoshi. Mr. Money in the Bank, Paul Phoenix. And Yoshi. I mean, Yoshi had a debut that one time on that Royal Rumble. That's right. I forget how he did. I heard it wasn't too terrible. He, he, did, he, did, he was in, like, the final, I think, three or four. I think he was in the final three because he, like, came in 37. Yeah. But what do I know? But here's Paul Phoenix, the uh, Mr. Money in the Bank. His first ever win it was a Money in the Bank win. The land of opportunity. That's right. You can do it, kid. <laughs> I just keep forgetting which one he is. Oh, he's kid. He's kid, and Yoshi's just a dun very dun Yo Yoshi's essentially Biggie Langston with construction boots and a dinosaur. And a dinosaur, everything else. Yes. Paul Phoenix pointed to his mom in the crowd. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's a very nice guy. He is. I mean, he looks like he'd be a very not nice guy. <laughs> is he squishing his hair there? Uh, Impenetrable. <laughs> I did not. He broke out some wax for that. He's got a nice life vest, preserver vest on. He's got a little bit of a, a, a bob to it, but it's manageable. The I, wax keeps it in check. I wonder how long it takes him every morning to style that. Oh, hours. That's that dedication. De yeah, exactly. Dedication, I'm not sure I'm committed to my hair with you. No, no one is, except for him. And apparently Kid. But potentially play. Uh, yeah, we got to get playing here to see exactly how he feels about the hair. Yeah, but I, I can't imagine. Like I'm, I'm happy for him with his hair. Yeah, I can't imagine play would not be happy for his hair. TNA just showed us a horrific view of Samoa Joe. Right yeah, now. we are also watching Slammiversary. We're watching Slammiversary while also watching the NBA Finals Game Five, both of which I believe happening in San Antonio. Here comes Yoshi. Yes, Yoshi coming out, and he's as excited to be here. But why can you not be? He's literally not Mr. Pib. Mr. Pib. I'm in. I bought 36 cans. It is not available in Connecticut. It's a good, it's a good idea. Yeah. So you can see why. It was three for ten. Yeah, you kind of had to. Yeah. You kind of had to. And the giving man that I am, other than giving you candy. Oh, my God. Yeah, Girl Squad gave us, like, a, me a bag full of candy. Yeah, it was her birthday yesterday. Yes, it was. So my birthday was June 15th. Super father's taking away my birthday. Damn. And Casey Kasem died. Oh, Casey Kasem. And Jimmy Johnson won. It's a terrible day. And my mother impaled her foot with car parts. How old was in the morning? It's like nine. That's not terrible. Yeah, it's not terrible. I wasn't. I wasn't mad. Yeah. <laughs> I hope not. It's not her fault. How dare you impale your foot <laughs> this early in the morning? At this hour, go back to bed. <laughs> Paul Phoenix and Yoshi. Uh, it's hard. I don't think either of us have Yoshi winning. No, I want to, but it's kid. Samoa Joe checking on the referee. Yoshi. And he gets a spear. 0 oh, 2 in his career. Paul Phoenix 1 and 3. Yoshi's 0 oh, 2. No. Yoshi is 0 oh, 2. And Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley defeated Samoa Joe <laughs> via spear. And Samoa Joe literally just got up. Stop showing us that angle, TNA. Samoa Joe, lose like 100 pounds. <laughs> Can you do that? <laughs> Can you do that, please? Or put on a shirt. <laughs> 420 chance going nuts. <laughs> oh my god. The leg sweep by Yoshi. Come on, Yoshi. Took the early lead. Oh, springboard! Wow! That didn't work. It was like a three point jump thing. An uppercut. It failed, but it, I gotta give him points for innovative. Man. Yes. So, much, how much could that hurt if you're literally right back up right now? He's so oh fat! Oh my god! He's so fat. <laughs> Where's Scott Steiner when you need him? <laughs> TNA Scott Steiner specifically Far away yeah. from wrestling right Not now. D League Scott Steiner What a boot What a boot by Paul Phoenix Paul Phoenix is taking him to the woodshed <laughs> Damn it Is he going to swing him? Yes he woo! is Woo Woo Only three I like that when when you have the swing on there They tuck their arms like behind their heads a little bit So it looks like they're on, like they're on a hammock Yeah it's really nice. Looks like they enjoy it yeah, They're going for a nice ride Yeah Eric Young, discount. So you got discount Daniel Bryan versus Bobby Lashley versus Kenny King or Austin Aries. Double stomp! First down, kid. Good for Austin Aries for still being in TNA. Hell yeah. But if you get fired, he has a, he has a welcome home at Revolution. <laughs> Why is there a pain glass? Get, stop being so excited to be there. I, f I feel like since the Spurs are playing in the good part of the, San Ante the Alamo Dome, that they just have the shit section dedicated for TNA. With Dixie Carter and a man in a purple jacket. That's a suit. I believe that is Rockstar Spot dresses the Joker. That's that's a suit nobody should own. Uh oh, this looks bad. Oh for my Paul god! Phoenix. 
Oh! oh! It was that planter shit. Yes, it was. That planter shit. Oh, man. Come on, Yoshi. Pull the upset. Yoshi, go to the cover. And the win. Yes. Now, now, now our fans were a little angry that uh, that kid won the, the last match. Saying that he didn't, like... What? It was a Two. fluke. But this is a way for him to showcase how good he actually is. Yeah, if he, can, if he can't beat Yoshi, then it was a fluke. Yeah, if he can't beat Yoshi, then I'll just face him for the briefcase myself. <laughs> You know, just insert myself in all kinds of main event storylines. <laughs> that, that chestnut. <laughs> Double drop kick. <laughs> Double drop kick. <sighs> Next week, for the case. <laughs> it's way too early for that accent, Trevor. Yeah. You're on your own show. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's my birthday. I do as I wish. For another three hours, I can act like three an asshole. Three hours and 19 minutes. Three hours and 19 minutes, I can act like an asshole. <laughs> like me just demanding people eat cake yesterday. Well, no, I guess technically today. Uppercut! Whoa! What an uppercut by Paul Phoenix! He is out cold. He, he's a, he has to be. He's been extinct. Yeah. The meteor... Uh, I don't fucking know. What? Jurassic Park is over. Two! Ooh! Near fall. Yeah, after getting hit by a red shell, that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. It was a quality. It was quality. It was Why, good. thank you. It was good because you were all red. I liked it. Yeah. I liked it. <laughs> I didn't even think of that when I first started saying it, too. This is EC3. I hope uh, so. Just a... Just, just a... Oh, it's Magnus. There you go. It's your boy. Yeah. Is he healed now? Yeah, he's wearing black. He's you. Or he's not? He, he's got discount um, Wyatt member. That's, That's true. Way. He does. Like, that guy looks like someone that should be in the Wyatt's. With that beard, yeah. Yeah. The Come on, what? Just a one. Paul Phoenix, not. Come on, Yoshi. Paul Shock Yoshi? the world. Is it because you want to face Paul Phoenix for the case, Trevor? Oh God, no. I'm just. I'm gonna opt out of that. Remain <laughs> in retirement. <laughs> oh, oh my oh. God! Another red shell. <laughs> it's a one, two, two three. three. Uh, undone. Two red shells. Way yeah. too much. Paul Phoenix. Oh, Jeff Hardy Willow. Stop. Let's go. I don't want to be part of this. Paul Phoenix, his first ever singles win. With that umbrella in the black and white, it's prime. They probably do that camera so they don't have to show what Real crowd. Uh-oh. I don't know what that, that noise was. Yeah, because they so like that when they pan the crowd, you can't see clearly what how many people are there and it's fair. Oh, Jeff Hardy looked over to the right side of the arena and just got immediately disappointed. I could have been in WWE. And I do stop it's taking math! <laughs> Couldn't stop taking meth. I mean, Jeff Hardy really is like just an advertising campaign for drugs. I can't tell if this is a flashback or not. <laughs> I am so, so sad for his parents. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is how great apparently Jeff Hardy thinks that drugs are. <laughs> I'm laughing at you, not with you. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, so we got Yusuke and Bandit Keith. Yes, you two former Magnation champions. That's right. Now and back it, when it was original Magnation. Yeah, now. Yeah. Back when it meant something. <laughs> All right, relax, Undertaker. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna have Magnation Pierce in like four or five years. I've been around since day one. Since they were two. When we have like twenty five k, and someone's like, "Oh, well, you should push." Them. No, <laughs> the, back in the back in the old days, they wouldn't be able to compete. With the likes of Yusuke and, and Jack Six. Yeah, Jack Six is our Michael Jordan. <laughs> he is. Years from now, we'll have someone like, I don't know. I don't know, fuck it. Like Hawkeye. Yeah. <laughs> we'll never be able to kill Ash Ketchum. <laughs> it's a new time, damn it. <laughs> it was way more physical back then. Well, it's just a bunch of pussies right now. <laughs> Eric Spolstra, hair cut for men, man. It's not too late. With that ever expanding forehead. Yusuke Yurameshi. Starting to look like Mel Kuyper. Oh, don't put that on me. <laughs> no, that Mel Kuyper hair is, <laughs> is, is something. It's like an alien. Alright, I, I, I'm for Yusuke winning this. I'm for Yusuke winning this as well. America? But he said everyone's got America. So yeah. I'm quite lazy. I remember him having a match against someone important lately. I believe it was either Devamon or Cell. Dude, it was Devmon and he lost because of the steel chair. Yes. There was shenanigans. 
Yeah, I'm not a fan of shenanigans. Not as you know. Except for the eating establishment shenanigans. We the people for Bannigan. Oh, yeah. It's pirates in America. Yeah, pirates in America in Somalia. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That's a country. And Captain pirates. Phillips. Captain. Oh, I would have paid real money to see that movie, Trevor. Right. <laughs> real currency. <laughs> That I earned. And instead, I just downloaded it and watched it in a hotel room. Was it worth it? No. <laughs> so I was going to pay like $8 to see it, and it would have been a waste of money. We would have been so bummed leaving <laughs> that movie. <laughs> what was it end? Like the last... Spoiler scene. alert for Captain yeah, Phillips. Spoiler alert for Captain Phillips. If you want to see it. But, like, basically, Tom Hanks, he's like leading these pirates everywhere. Like, saying like, hey, you see? Yeah. And this is where I can pull out Broly Voice, and it's okay. You see, pirates, we ain't got any, any crew here. It's just me. And his crew like hides somewhere, and he's trying to bribe the pirates. Eventually, the pirates are like, "Nah, nah, we're just gonna take you in this little submarine, so we can kill you or something." So then, the U.S. Coast Guard's like, "All right, we're not gonna kill you, Somalian pirates. We're just gonna hang out, standing exactly where you are in the sub, and then they kill the Somalian pirates." And then it's Captain Phillips just screaming and crying for seven minutes, and uh, credits. Bummer. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm upset. I hadn't even watched the movie. I just heard about it from yeah. Trevor. It's just Tom Hanks going, <laughs> Seven minutes. He's just on, <laughs> he's on an operating table just confused. <laughs> Tom Hanks. Tom, ha Tom Hanks doing his Hail Mary for an Oscar. <laughs> yeah. That's out of left field. Oh, yeah. Yusuke being thrown against the ropes. And that's a German suplex. Wow! What nice transition. Flash bulb cameras. You don't see that often. No, I missed that actually. It's like looking at the old WrestleManias, they're badass because they have like the flash bulbs. Yeah, I'm gonna miss flash bulbs. I know. It doesn't count with uh, what we got now. No, it doesn't. Uh oh, Yusuke putting. That's a, that looks. That's a flapjack or something. I don't really know what that was, but Yusuke did it, and Banner Keith does not seem to be very affected by it. No. He ain't, he ain't no bitch. A double-handed axe handle. And then another axe handle drop. He used to get around his feet. Another German suplex. Banneke, the big fan of suplexes tonight. He is. What a wheel kick by Yusuke. Just jumping and then shoving. And flatjack. Well done, Yusuke. Well, Yusuke's been in the advantage for a lot of this. But Banneke has stayed in this, which is good, because Banneke really needs a win here. Because how the mighty have fallen. Although he did win a hardcore championship not too long ago. He did. He did. By defeating King Leonidas in like a back alley. <laughs> still counts. Yep, still counts. He is the shortest reigning, reigning ever hardcore champion too. Well, I mean, everyone's got to, someone's got to be the shortest reigning. That's right. He lost it to the Green Goblin. Who still has it. We haven't seen a lot of him lately. He's been hiding. He really wants that title. Yeah. I keep telling him, man, it's not, it, it's not worth it. <laughs> yeah, it's just Does he have a title to go for? Tag? No. Hardcore? Fine. You want to stay home? Fine. <laughs> That's totally your call. <laughs> Defend it once a month if you if you so choose. Fine. I can't I, make I can't make you show up, but I love the Hitman Goblin. <laughs> he gives glasses to kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who who would have thought he would be so so friendly? I know giving glasses to kids. Yeah. Well, it's because he's like post stoner James Franco Green Goblin. I assume. I, I don't want to put on the evil that is like current Green Goblin who, of the guy who, whose name I don't even know from Spider-Man 2. The Amazing Spider-Man 2? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no idea. Exactly. Someone, someone's going to tell us in the comments, but again, I, I don't entirely care. Like, I'll see Spider-Man 2 eventually. It's just that, like, when we had the Spider-Man promo video, everyone, like, just gave away the ending of it. Yeah, that was a little dick. Yeah. That was sort of, sort of rude. Yeah, they're like, well, this happens. Well, guess I'm not seeing this anytime soon. Yeah, you shouldn't do that to us. Yeah. I still want to see movies. Yeah. We saw Godzilla. It was good. It was good. We saw it in the way it's down the west. Which was great. What a knee move. Was, that was like a running headbutt to the knee. Yeah, and the camera special effects happened. Make you, it seem more powerful. Yeah, you'd imagine that it'd be way more Zero powerful, count. painful for a friggin' Bandit Keith. Oh, Bandit Keith going for power bomb. Use K with a counter. Is that abyss? The fuck? Yeah. Come on, Yusuke. Jeff, what is that? What are you wearing, like yoga pants? <laughs> Jeff Hardy, what are you wearing? <laughs> I think he's wearing yoga pants. Yeah. Uh, of what I've heard from girls, they're surprisingly comfortable. Not that I'd want to, you know, ever wear them. 
Yeah, I'm never gonna find that out myself. Yeah, never. Like wearing like track pants is as good as I'm gonna get. Yep, doing that right now actually. Yeah. What cold line missing? Use K with a kick. Putting Van Keith in the corner. Doing the up, oh, Van Keith putting Use K in the corner. I cannot wait for the next game to come out. Holy shit! Yeah. October, right? Apparently, um, someone posted on our timeline about like how like dope the game's gonna be. I believe it was Jacob. So as the match goes on, I'll look that up. Mandy Keith, a knee to basically the dick of Yusuke Hiramishi there. And another flapjack. A lot of flapjacks in this match. Will that be it? After the flapjack. Will Mandy Keith call it a night? What? No. Not after the flapjack. I'd hope not. I'd really hope Chops. not. Chops! Yusuke with a counter. What a neckbreaker by... What's a running neckbreaker by Yusuke? Damn. Uh-oh, he's calling for the spirit gun, I think. In those moccasin-type shoes... Those are impressive moccasins. They are. Those are really comfortable. They do. I'm a little jealous. The spirit gun. Uh oh. Has he got it locked in? Or oh, pile driver. Oh. <laughs> okay. Just straight up pile driver. Just a pile driver. That's impressive. not illegal here. We do. Nope. We do allow that. We do allow people to drop other people. In the what? Two, Two. Three. Wow. Yusuke getting back in his winning ways. Well, he has only cuts and bruises. Yeah. <laughs> Banner keep dropping. What is Banner Keith's overall record now? Oh, not good. Six and eleven. Oh, former magnation champion. Hulk numbers. Oh no, he's getting to that territory. Uh, no one wants to go to Hulk country. All right, so uh, actually, we'll we'll read the, cause this next next match. I assume is going to be on the lengthier side, so we'll get into the new game once the next match starts. It's only like six paragraphs. It's just a lot of jargon. Well, so we'll we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll wait for that because the next match, I, it's going to be a triple threat match, not usually. Oh yes. In interest of crowd. Yes. Time. They usually laugh. Stop looking at me like that, JR. JR, listen. I don't know how long it's going to be. I'm just going to assume it's that long because they usually are. Yeah. All right? I'm not breaking the fourth wall, JR. <laughs> okay? I'm not doing it. I'm just saying it could be very short, JR. It could be. Every time you break the fourth wall, he makes you go cut a switch. <laughs> cut a switch. <laughs> By reading Johnny Tremaine again? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Impressively, I'm used to getting the crowd. Capacity. Yes. Way bigger than TNA. With the WrestleMania sign, apparently. We have that right there. Well, it was real cheap. It was. Triple Threat Tables Women's. Interesting. Yeah. Raven in the middle is Candy Cane. And on the right, I think, is Juliet Starling. Oh, well, I love Chainsaw. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I know who I'm picking. I don't know who Candy Cane is from, but I, I Googled it when I found her on the servers. Is a real, like, thing from a game or something. Oh, we'll figure it out. Let's do it right now, actually. I'll invest my powers to Google. A triple threat tables match. Yeah, they knew it was my birthday. Look they right. didn't know it was your birthday specifically. That's kind of cool. What are, we, what are you celebrating, Google? Holy crap, they didn't know it was my birthday. Wait, really? Yeah. Holy shit, Google. That's unnerving. All right, Google. I'm a little concerned now, but, uh, candy cane. Well, we got candy cane. Here comes Candy Cane. Candy Cane... Video game? Character. That works. Giant bomb? Images. Like, that's her, clearly. Yeah. Not wearing a lot of clothing. Not wearing a um, It's a cosplay of her. Yep. That's provocative. Huh. Huh. <laughs> okay. That's only on the fourth row. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> then you got Darius Rucker hanging out down here. Darius Rucker! <laughs> Candy Cane Christmas. <laughs> here comes Raven. I'm just gonna go ahead and post that on Kathy's wall. <laughs> she can literally just send me a text right now. Oh, good. Well, I hope she enjoys this picture, Darius Rucker. I'm gonna brave the elements and eat chips. If you would like some gummy, feel free. Oh, I will. <laughs> Lack of <laughs> Darius Rucker is invested in the left side of your browser. <laughs> <laughs> he really wants to know what you're going on on Facebook there. What games you got going on, Trevor? Oh, I'll tell <laughs> you, Darius Rucker. <laughs> so we, we, we've we've known that Candy Cane is apparently in a game. 
all we know of him, really. Okay. Oh, maybe this is some backstory. This could get really bad. Oh, my. Yeah, okay. All right. Oh, Rumble Roses. There you go. Rumble Roses, which is basically a wrestling video game where they all look slutty. All right, so to so, design the McLovin. Yeah. It is Juliet Starling. Yeah, so basically, like, the McLovins of this world would buy that game. Interesting. So they'd be like, oh, my God. They're doing things. And the ladies. Yeah, I don't know. It's not me. Killer B? What the fuck's Killer B? Look this. Oh, oh it's, it's, it's Campsy. The camera. Hammer. The muscle camster. The muscle camster. Yes. How could you forget the muscle camster? Doug Martin. The that guy does not, does not have a lot of teeth. What? They can murder someone. It's a two by four with nails in it. Uh, who's, who has it? Abyss. Oh, good for Abyss. Look at that. That could murder somebody. Why would you do that? I don't know. What do you get with this one, Trevor? Oh, obviously, uh, a lot of chainsaw. Obviously. Now I'm gonna read you the potential for WWE 15. Oh, yeah, I'm curious. Let's see. Last year's WWE 2K14, with the shit that you're watching right now, was too far along when 2K Games took on the license from THU to make it make many big changes, but now there's no holding back. Okay. WWE 2K15 will be the new gen debut of the series on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, in addition to PS3 and 360. We feel like being slackers. Developer Visual Conte Concepts is taking a much bigger role this time around, alongside longtime developer Ukes. That's concerning. Yeah. Visual Concepts is incorporating its impressive scanning tech made famous in its NBA 2K games. That's promising. Yep. The team has hounded WWE's roster of wrestlers during their nonstop travel schedule and already has 90% of the in game roster scanned in. That doesn't matter to any of us. Nope. Interestingly, I saw a photo of Hulk Hogan getting scanned. While well, classic version of him is on the game alongside Bray Wyatt, Roman Reigns, blah, 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 blah. Okay. It's unclear what role today's older Hulk would serve. Maybe he shows up, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Okay. The new tech is already showing impressive details, and all the models look a lot better. That's cool. DC is capturing a variety of facial expressions, so the wrestlers will express a more realistic emotions in the ring. A John Cena facial rig demo will show off lifelike expressions of pain, excitement, and exertion. Alright. Exertion. This is a tables match, by the way. Oh! <laughs> First one to put another one through a table wins. Thank God it's not elimination. Thank God. I made that mistake once. Half an hour later, I just ended it. The ultimate goal of this is to closer match WWE's TV presentation. That's good for news for us. You couldn't get any specifics because it's June. Of uh, game mechanic changes, but visual context is working towards a more realistic match pacing and flow. Good news That's for us. That's great news. The key to all this being a new mocap studio that contains an actual WWE ring set up by a real technician of the WWE. Why this wasn't done before is beyond me. This will result in five times the number of animations than WWE 2K14. That's a lot. That is awesome. That is fantastic. A new months later cutoff point will ensure that the game is much closer to the latest roster and storylines. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care about that. Well, the only thing that matters about that is that there, there has the potential being better entrances. That's true. That's true. Hurricane Run right into the table. Because I'm a big fan of the entrances. At least you are. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Like, I got a couple tag teams set up for the future that um, he knows about, and I can't tell you guys. And um, Oh, my God. Let me get... Fan favorites. Well, I mean, you know. Yeah, that's true. Fan <laughs> favorites, not Steve favorites. <laughs> Fans are going to love them. Oh, oh, yeah. Love them. Me? Nah. <laughs> Let's see. Audio is getting an overhaul. I don't care. Uh, man. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. Main, mainly the animation thing impresses me. It's Kurt Angle! Go on, Kurt. He's on his feet! Holy crap, he is on his feet. He is on his feet. The fans are really going nuts for Kurt Angle. You taking pictures of him? Why do you need that? I saw Kurt Angle at this thing I was at. Kurt Angle was at that thing I was at in a suit in the ring. But why? Why would you take a picture? Why would you show up ringside with a TNA belt? It's lame. It's like going to a band. It's like a concert with a t-shirt of the band. 
Yeah, you don't do that. You don't do that at all. Never do that. It's the uh, trivium rule. <laughs> I hate trivium anyway, so. Yeah, um, this understand. this guy that I used to be uh, friends with back in the day, Trapper John, from work. His literal legal name was Trapper John. <laughs> <laughs> and um, basically, he made it the trivium rule because he went to go see trivium in concert, and trivium wore their own shirts in concert. Oh, yeah, that's the worst. That is terrible. Hi, Chewie. I hate I I hate Trivium so much. And now you hate them more. <laughs> I didn't know it was possible. Double drop kick against Live Op Chainsaw against Table. Table stays intact. That's Swansium uh, wood right there. Yes! Swansium grade wood. Basically, Ron Swanson stares at the table for five minutes, and if it doesn't break by his sheer will, it's good to go. Yes. If Ron Swanson... <laughs> If Ron Swanson can stare at, stare at his creation for more than five minutes while the creation is being destroyed, it passes. <laughs> That's one of those things that is like the, one of those balloons that I float up and see if anyone takes it. Yeah, I thought about it. <laughs> yeah, let's go with it. Raven into the table. Drop kick again, and the table will not break. All right, Ron Swanson, you may have to be a little, uh, a little more lenient because these these chicks are a lot lighter than uh, than the men. I'm not saying they're, as, they're not as tough. I'm just saying they're a lot lighter, so it requires more force for them to get put through a table. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they require just because they're, you know, smaller. Yeah, they're tiny. They're tiny. I'm, I'm saying that they probably lift and everything, but... You still got to... Oh, Candy Cane almost put a pop chains under the table. Close. But no cigar. Is this Bob Ray Dudley? Where did that come from? Close, but no cigar. Yeah. I hate cliche phrases. I wonder where they come from. Bubba Ray Dudley. And Devon! Testify! Didn't he get fired or something? Yeah. Devon's not employed by uh, TNA anymore. Yeah, here he is. Yep. Interesting. And then, Oh, yeah, did you hear about that rule that I made for the D-League? Uh, briefly, just go over it again. Basically, it's... Um, I wouldn't say it's the Steiner rule, but... Um, all... Real wrestlers are only available for that one season that they get drafted. I like it. So if they debut on episode one, they're only available till episode one of the next season. I like it. Yeah. So say with oh, the they got the Hall of Fame. Oh, nice. As Team 3D in TNA. I think this is just everyone that TNA is just being dicks about. So they're just like, no WWE, we're gonna induct them first. Because think about it, it's all people that like. WWE would eventually want to induct in their Hall of Fame. Sting, Kurt Angle, Dudley Boys. Well, they can't, right? Well, they still can. I mean, like, down the road, after, like, they all retire from TNA. Yeah, could you be in the Hall of Fame and still a wrestler? Apparently, boy, right, can. Yep. Weird. Yeah, he's wrestling later tonight. Weird. Devon, don't flex your muscles. We know it's fake, okay? Yeah. Relax. They run a wrestling school in Florida or something now. Good for them. 3D Academy. Spike Dudley still there? Are they? I hope so. Are Spike Dudley and Bubba Dudley even related at all? No. D -d Disappointing. Neither is Bubba Ray and Diva. I would hope not because they're different races, Trevor. It's true, but they are brothers. <laughs> That's why I asked about the two. They're both the sons of Big Dick Dudley. That's why. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This is at the point where I'd implore people to Google Big Dick Dudley, but I heavily advise against that. For the greater good of mankind. You also don't give that any more searches on Google. <laughs> Just don't give that the satisfaction of being searched more times. So please, suplex right into the table. And for you, I'm going to Google Big Dick Dudley. Of course you are. I just said don't it, do it, so. It's my brother. Google, way too nice. Uh-oh. Live up chainsaw against the table. Candy cane right there, and clothesline miss. Come on, What a kick, though. What a kick with live pop chainsaw. Textbook, right out of the book. This is gonna end terribly. Big Dick Dudley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, quite partial. To that. <laughs> oh, He's in the game. I'm glad I didn't see that. <laughs> in theory, we could draft Big Dick Dudley into the D League. Can we not? <laughs> Can we not do that? <laughs> I, did, I, I will refuse to commentate any match that involves. <laughs> it's Big Dick New Dudley. Jack. Damn it, New Jack, trying to kill a man. <laughs> <laughs> I 
right. Yeah. Uh, I, I love how it just it, it just quickly changes from being legitimate to just complete heinous things. Oh, it's the entire Dudley like, Dudley crowd right here. Yeah, Sign guy Dudley and Big Dick Dudley up there and the rest. <laughs> it doesn't even include little Spike Dudley. Was he even born at that point? When the time I took this photo? No, it was 1996, so probably not. Little Spike Dudley. He well, came around. Little Spike Dudley was a school teacher, and he gave it up. Was he? Yeah. What did he teach? I think it was like third grade. Third grade? Yeah. Little Spike Dudley to wrestle. Hell yeah. Good for you, Spike Dudley. Get another real business for children. Children will watch wrestling. They don't give a shit about being taught. Sorry, JR. You know it's true, JR. Don't give me that look. <laughs> Kids like wrestling and not school, JR. All right. I'm interested in what you're about to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, Candy Cane going up against Sable. Come on, Live Pop Chainsaw, stop being dazed. She is dazed, not yet confused, though. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Who is that? Is this... Who is that? Oh, oh, Suicide Girls. Just random women. Yep. That's good. Spurs up four. Spurs up four now. Uh oh, this thing. Lob up chainsaw, the strategy. Saving the match for Well herself. done, Starling. There's no real, like, stipulation for winning. There's no, like. Oh, that's gotta be a foul. There you go. Suck a dick, Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade was driving and he just takes his hand he's like, nope. Wait, Dwayne Wade was driving. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> okay, that's terrible. That's a flop. That is an absolute flop. Oh my god. Was that Boris Dio? Was that big Boris Dio? Yeah. Patty Mills. Patty Mills. In real time, it looked way more convincing than that. He'll, he'll be fine for that one. Oh my god, yeah. Patty Mills, what are you doing? <laughs> you have three games to one, Patty Mills. You don't need to do that. Popovich just calls him back. He's like, no. The whole crowd's applauding him. <laughs> oh man. Why well, pop chainsaw? Dire Straits. Other girl. Dire Straits. Neck breaker by that other girl. That is Raven in all purple. Candy Cane. And then as you know. Come on, that's a Raven. I remember that show. Yeah, too bad it's not the same girl. I know. My sister was a big fan of that, so Raven. Big fan. Juliet Starling taking a lap around the ring. Yeah, I mean, she's got to get her cardio in. That's true. She's got to keep her figure. That's true. She is a, a woman on the roster, so first and foremost, got to look good. <laughs> Did it flop again? Yeah, it was. <laughs> it goes against the Heat again. The flop finals. God, I hate the NBA sometimes. I hate I hate a lot of it. Yeah, I hate the NBA a lot, too. Like, I can't sit and watch, like, a Jazz Rockets game. No. Like, I watch, like, the Padres and Marlins play baseball. God, yes. But, like, I just can't, like, because, I don't know. That almost went awesome. Candy Cane went for a Hurricane Rana thingy, trying to put uh, Starling through the table. Didn't happen. Raven walking around the table. Saw a strategy. Oh, there you go. Oh, misses. Okay. Oh, that's got to suck. That's true. Using the table as a weapon is a solid strategy, because it is pretty impenetrable. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it, and if they destroy it, I think they lose. Yeah! What if you just took a table and you just beat someone over the head with it and it broke? They you they would lose. You would win. Because you put them through a table. Yes. Well, Ray, Raven's got a chair. She's just completely ignoring the rules of the match. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what are you, Sabu? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Raven. Good Lord. Lord. Uh-oh. That is devastating. Right under the chair. Right under the chair. Did right she just figure out that she has shit to do? <laughs> I know, right? Like, all right, this was supposed to go 14 minutes. Like, did, did Freddie Jones just yell in your ear that you know, <laughs> it's time to go home? Yes, I know, JR. Sus suspension disbelief, I get it, but come on. We're talking about Freddie Jones, JR. This has nothing to do with you. Yeah, you have great barbecue sauce, I know. That is. I just had some today, JR. <laughs> that has nothing it to do with It went very you. well on my hamburger. And the Chipotle ketchup went very well with my fries. Bulldog! Oh, no! Table almost destroyed. Partial credit, not full credit. Horseshoes and hand grenades, Starling. Uh, I get that. There you go. I get that. Uh oh, Raven, oh. going up. Springboard! 
right on top of Julius Starlin. You missed a Ginobili dunk. Manu! Yeah, you heard me. Manu Ginobili dunked. I keep showing those pictures from, like, 1997. That is absurd. Yeah, they're the same. They're the same. Oh, flying Juliet Starling. <laughs> I'm still ripping tan. <laughs> Russian light. What's going on with that one? <laughs> I don't know. I just texted Courtney. I was like, no one needs a hoodie at 11 o'clock at night in June. Because Dan was still talking about coming over. Still? Still. He wants it. He really wants this hoodie. In June. All right, Dan. If you, like, I'll be like, Dan, I'm going to bed. I'm going to put the hoodie in my car if you'd like to come get it. In between 11 o'clock in the morning and 6.30 in the morning. Feel free. I would have counted my candy cane. Running into each other. Classic diva move. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Just marching Julius Arling over to the... Uh-oh. Hurricane Rana. Oh! 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 <laughs> Took a bolt out at once! <laughs> Does that count? Yes, yes she wins! wins! She wins! She took a bolt out at once! They're both down! I've never seen that before in my life! That is amazing! Wow, that was worth the wait. Hell yeah! Took them both down at once? You'll never see that again. Ever. Wow, that was awesome. That was really cool. Maybe she planned it. Well done, Harlots. Well done. Good showing. Hell yeah. I think it was time to talk about WWE 2K15. Oh yeah. And Bobby Lashley and Kurt Angle and Big Dick Dudley. I mean, Big Dick Dudley in 2014. What are you going to do? Candy Kane, what a win. In her Harlot debut. And the re-debut of the Harlots. Yes. The re-re-debut. We're going to make them awesome. Eventually. We're going to try. Really, really try to make them awesome. It's going to be tough. The odds are stacked against us. Very much so. It does not mean we cannot be done. And it does not mean we're not going to try our very best to get that done. It's true. We will burn the midnight oil. Or like the 830 oil. Yeah. Let's be real. It's the Harlots. Yeah. <laughs> That's an overused phrase. <laughs> Burn the midnight oil. Wow, I heard that. I haven't heard that. And that is uns... Well, there goes my cap. Fuck like it. Went off my shoe and rolled on the table. That is... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Wagon wheel. Tag team Whoa. action! Now, I know you don't know who that third person is. He's just getting blocked out by dickhead Digimon guy. <laughs> that is Kakashi from Naruto. I know those are words. Yeah. <laughs> I am not I am not a fan of Naruto at all. Naruto at all. Naruto at all. But it was a, I saw him on the servers and I get you know, we flew him over to lunch. We had I went to the Olive Garden. Ooh. Unlimited breadsticks. Oh that's great. He's know. a very good tipper. He is? Oh he's a great tipper. That's a plus. Twenty two and a half percent. Really? Yeah, good man. That is almost unheard of. Yeah, it's great. Teaming with Earthworm Jim. The son of Adolf Hitler. Against uh, the tag team of Cell and Devamon. Could this be the prom, the makings of the new Neo Underworld? <laughs> I have no idea. Because Earthworm Jim is digging. So is uh, Skeletor. Perf oh, that's <laughs> bold. <laughs> that is, that's a claim. Wow. At least they're not called the Birds of War. <laughs> I mean, if that enters in this game, <laughs> yeah. I would. That's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Capacity crowd! Standing room only. Yeah. Where did you, did you like purchase it? I don't remember you purchasing the entire state. Uh, I think it was actually the country of Tahiti. Great time down there. It is a little balmy down here, though. I mean, yeah, it comes with the territory, but in the yeah. winter, it's going to be very nice. Oh, it's, it's going to be amazing. Very, actually, in the fall and winter, it's going to be very yeah. nice. Very nice. It'll be a great time. The beaches to die for. Yes. And here comes partner number one. Kaka. Uh, nope. Wow. Nope, not doing that. All right. You look cool. Making his Magnation debut. His debut. Debut. We got fireworks. Yeah, very nice guy. Oh, yeah. Great tipper. Good conversationalist. Really? Yeah, you know, you know you do card tricks, too? Oh, real stand-up guy. Good for him. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a night. I mean, he looks cool too, so I figure why not. Spurs are now to up five. Go Spurs. Go Spurs. <laughs> Keep posting here. Oh no, Voice Point Jam crashed. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I mean, the chat's going nuts. <laughs> yeah. They are rioting. <laughs> American flag. There are 348 people watching TNA. 
That's almost more than the people that were actually in the arena watching TNA. <laughs> almost. And his partner. I think the winless Earthworm Jim. Yeah. The winless wonder. Earthworm Jim 0 and 4. It's gonna be hard pressed to get a win today, but uh That's true. Kakashi. Added into the database. Actually, I gotta add the last match to the database. So we That's have, true. Uh, Candy Cane? Candy Cane. She won a triple threat match. That's right, she did. And that's it. No, well, that's clearly wrong. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to fix that somehow. That's right. Raven. What Raven was in here. <laughs> that chat is going nuts. There's a gif of Stone Cold just with fists up going towards Deborah. <laughs> that is no good. That the, the chat is rioting. <laughs> the lack of TNA has brought these men to a riot. All right, so we got the tag team of uh, perfection and uh, yeah, I gotta go. Birds of War. Oh, that that guy's cool. I like that guy. Kakashi. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He, I I love his and like his uh his attire, his gear. And I love his gusto right here, going right after Cell. Yeah, he, he's, he's not one to shot out from a challenge. That's, no. that's for damn sure. Making his debut tonight. Especially since he's going against the combined force of those two. Perfection. It's very subtly titled, but very boldly proclaiming. Yes. Now, I'd like for Earthworm Jim to get a win here. I would love! That'd be the biggest win of his career! He'd be the only one of his career. I mean, biggest win, only win. What's the difference? Is that a gif of Putin slowly becoming Brock Lesnar? To dethrone these two Good men. Good lord. 420 changes. They are, they are riding. Fire. Oh, switch back to the game. Oh, is it halftime? Yeah, it might be halftime. Damn, that game's going quick. Yeah, it is. Jesus Christ, started like an hour ago. Uh-oh, that's devastating. Sidewalk slam. Good that's God. Got, that's got to hurt. Help him, Earthworm Jim. Come on, you're a powerful worm. You're on a worm in a spacesuit. I believe we had. This oh, what a move by Kakashi! That was impressive. Very impressive. And it's dropping the the elbow right in the clavicle. Yep, definitely halftime. All right. Well, then we can do blue during the second half, and it'll be fantastic. Yes, sir. Everyone's a winner. Oh yeah. Hopefully, it's not the heat though. And TNA explode. TNA, yeah, they're having a riot. Manage double. Why are you running, man? Oh, tagging in Devamon. Here Calm comes. Down. Oh, Kakashi gonna go and let Earthworm Jim handle this, handle this business. Oh, of course. These two men, middle of the ring, Earthworm Jim. The size difference. Oh, what? Oh! The, t oh, oh. <laughs> the tenacity of Earthworm Jim. Somebody is gonna be responsible for making Devamon in the next game. Yeah. Because I'm not fucking doing that. Hell no. Because that's really good. Like that's, that's like, that's that's really close to what he actually looks like. Really? Yeah, it's, it's really good, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is impressive. And I like Cell, too. I'm glad that he's in the uh, Magnation now. Yeah, I'm, I'm. he's making, you know, you got Boo over there bringing Cell in. Yeah. Which kind of, no, that was a move by, you know, Earthworm Jim. But the side difference is ridiculous. But power difference, yet to be seen, really. We haven't seen a lot of perfection. Yeah. So, we have, all they know is they have promised big things with Captain America at the helm. Oh, absolutely. Just punching the shit out of Devamon. Devamon sawing. Oh my god, shoulder block. Brutal. Oh no, he's so, just a word. The closed fisted punches in the face. He has children, probably. Uh, I mean, assume a super worm at some point is going to impregnate yeah. somebody. One can hope. I don't really know who, but what a hip talk. Come on, Earthworm Jim. Come on, these two. Dethrone perfection. For them to, for them to be in their tag team debut. And to lose to those two would be... Let's say more about the, these two as a tag team or less about Perfection as a tag team? Less about Perfection as a tag team. Because you got to figure that Perfection are very well established as far as just being badass guys for the most part. That's true. And Earthworm Jim hasn't won the Takashi like debut. Uh-huh, that's true. So that'd be a hell of a win. Hell of a win for those two. I'm now going to get Kakashi and Cell once more. And Takashi. Oh, misses. Tonight, oh, Kakashi going right after Cell. Scoop slam! The crowd going wild. Me included. He's, right. You know, got to remember. Did you see what Earthworm Jim was doing with his hands? No. 
I think he's still getting used to the idea of hands. <laughs> Kakashi catching Cell mid chop, but Cell right there. Gonna have the Achilles tendon there. Kakashi ducking underneath, and I just a, <laughs> a running knee type move by Kakashi. And Takashi get oh what a kick a to the kick right to the gut. That's gotta hurt. Cell though, not, not sell that elbow to the spinal cord. And oh, a knee to the spinal. Working on Damn. that back. That that is good ring excellence right there. Yeah, by the ring general cell. <laughs> no, no, here we go. Oh, I'm just actually flattening cell. We have an upset. One, wow. two. Oh, near fall. You see that defense by Earthworm Jim over there? I did. He was taking out take taking out that in mind. That was impressive. Oh! oh! What a kick! Holy crap! What a kick! Oh, no! That was your chance! Oh, my God. What a kick. Good Lord. That was, was it. That was, that that had to be it. Uh-oh. Oh, oh that's, that's rough. That yeah, right on that neck. That is poor. Yeah, that was brittle. The, the, he was working on his spine for most of the time. The brittle. And my neck. Oh, oh, my God! P and uppercut. Gosh, he getting right back on his feet. Oh, what a shoulder block. Right back on his feet. They're uh, throwing haymakers. Gonna now. fly. Springboard! It hits! Middle ring! On the T! Neck breaker! Oh man! Takashi going to the corner! Going to get Earthworm Jim! He's keep tagging him in! Here comes Earthworm Jim! Oh! Come on! What? Not an no, Earthworm Jim! Oh no! He's an innocent worm! Oh no! To the right no, of the stab, no. your partner in the back. No. What kind of stab is that, Sendakashi? Boo! Boo this man! 